64 I'm going to jump to 96 just be very careful in the exam that if you jump you you do keep to one of the increments you've got here then revert back to the number that you are counting up in so I'm going to revert back to 16 because I'm getting close to 119 if I add 16 onto this it's 112 these are our subnets if we add 16 onto that it's 100 and 28 so I can see I've gone past 119 these are our subnets we want first host let me just get rid of this number four here my magic pen first house last house and your broadcast so We've determined here, if I choose another colour. In fact we've got the answer. You don't you don't need to go any further. I was I was gonna cover the first house, hundred and thirteen. Broadcast, we take one away, one two seven. Ignore this if you want to. Take one away for that for the last host, one two six. The answer is which subnet is host ten dot one dot twenty dot one one nine is. It is in subnet ten dot one dot 20.112 now he says hoping that's in one of the uh, we've got to write it out now I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to write this out actually 10.1.20.112 10 10.1.20.112 10 one, one, two. I'm not sure if I need to put a um, mask in there, but I'm going to click submit and see if that accepts it. Yes, it accepts it. So I'll click on. Oh, don't worry. In this ECE and exam, by the way, they will make it clear. They're a bit more uh, used to writing questions than I am. Next question: IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot one hundred dot twenty three slash twenty six is in which subnet? You know, you should know the drill by now. All right, so 192.168.100.23 slash 26. Let's convert that mask or that slash address into a mask. 255.255.255 is class C. We're up to uh, 816, 24 bits here. What do we add to 24 to get to 26? We add 2, even I know that. So we'll go to our subnetting cheat chart. And all we need to do is tick down two places and we see our subnet mask is 192 for that value. So it goes 192 in the end here, that's our subnet. We want to know what subnet this, uh, subnet on the fourth octet, so we want to know what subnet this address is, the dot 23. Go back to our window. If we tick down two, we always tick across two, and the top bit is telling us what increments our subnet's going up in. It's going up in values of 64. That's good news, it means you don't have to count too much. Our first, we'll write the fourth octet values. We're allowed to start off with zero with our subnet, and our next subnet is 64. So it's pretty obvious already the number 23 is sitting in the zero subnet. So the answer will be 192.168.100.0 Correct! I'm going to roll here, so let's go on to our next question. This should get to the point where it gets a little bit tedious actually, but 255.255.255 the reason why I'm doing this is we've got 26 bits and I know if we do three lots of 255 it's 24 bits what do we add to 24 to get to 26 we've actually had a question like this we add 2 24 plus 2 gives us 26 go back to our subnetting chart if we steal two bits it gives us 192 in our last octet so one nine two. 
All we need to do now is determine if we count up in our values, which will determine in a second which octet or which subnet is uh, host 77 in. So we've stolen two bits for subnetting. Let's take two along the top, 64 again. Good news. We've got 64 in our last octet. It saves us a lot of counting. All right, so 10.10.200 dot. The first octet we're allowed to have zero. The next octet we're adding up in 64, and the one after that is 128. We can immediately see the answer that that number 77 has to be in this 64 subnet. So 10.10.200.64. 10.10.200.64. Press submit, and we got that correct. Okay, so this is our last question. You haven't seen all 13 for this quiz because I've just missed out the tunneling in IP version 6. We're looking for uh, 172.20.112.221 slash 27. Which subnet is this host in? I've written it out. Yeah, same drill as before. Let's write out our subnet mask 255.255.255 gives us 24 bits and we want to get to 27, but 24 plus 3 will give you 27. So go back to your chart. We're stealing 3 bits, 1, 2, 3, to give us a mask of 224. So let's write that in before we forget it. 224. Now we want to find out which, again, we're, we're only activating the last subnet, the fourth uh, octet. We don't need to concern ourselves with these ones here. Not for the purposes of the exam anyway. So we've stolen uh, three bits. We go back to our chart again. And again, you can write this out in the exam. Tick across three, our subnets are going up in increments of 32, and we're allowed to start off with zero. So, zero, 32, 64, 96. I'm going to actually double 96 because otherwise we're going to be here a while. Uh, 90 plus 90 is 180 uh, plus 12, so 192. My maths isn't great, but I can double stuff. I'm going to add 32 to that now to get our next um, subnet. 2, 2, 4. And we can see our answer. We've gone past 2, 2, 1. So the answer will be... Um, that host is in subnet 172.20.112.192. So 172.20.112.192. I'll just double check that that was, yeah, 192. And the answer is correct. So that's the last question. I hope you enjoyed the quiz. Again, you can download this quiz free from howtonetwork.net uh, as part of the CCNA in 60 Days program. And um, thanks a lot for watching.